Hurricane season continues. There have been 16 named storms so far in this year's Atlantic season with just five storm names left to use. So what about the Pacific, though? How was their hurricane season looking this year? News 19's meteorologist Aaron Walker takes a look. It's been an active season in the Pacific with two main climate factors contributing to this above average hurricane season. Let's dive into the details. When El Nino conditions coincide with above average sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific, it will likely result in a hurricane season that is either near normal or above normal. The 2023 eastern Pacific hurricane season began with Adrian. Tropical Storm Adrian developed in June, rapidly intensifying into the first hurricane of the season. Adrian reached Category 2 status before weakening. Several noteworthy storms emerged throughout the season. Hurricane Calvin, the first major hurricane, moved through the Central Pacific, prompting precautionary measures in Hawaii. Fortunately, it caused little damage. The passage of Hurricane Dora in early August led to strong trade winds that aided the spread of wildfires across Hawaii. The most devastating fire occurred on Maui with dozens of casualties and significant property damage. This marked the deadliest natural disaster in recorded Hawaii history. Further south, Baja, California faced the wrath of Hurricane Hillary. It intensified into a Category 4 hurricane before making landfall, resulting in flooding, downed trees, and widespread damage. Hurricane Jova was a standout in the season, undergoing rapid intensification and briefly reaching Category 5 status before weakening. It's a testament to the unpredictable nature of these storms. For News 19, I am meteorologist Aaron Walker. And as a reminder, hurricane season officially ends on November 30th.